Hello friends, welcome and namaskar. Let us discuss the concept of break-even point or break-even sales in brief. Break-even point or break-even sales. That is the situation of no profit, no loss. That means at break-even point, there will be no profit or no loss situation. Break-even point is that level of sales at which neither a profit is made nor a loss is incurred. No profit, no loss. How can it happen? Yes. When the sales revenue is exactly equal to our total cost, that is called the break-even point or break-even situation. In the books of accounts, we can never see the break-even situation. This is an ideal situation which we should know in the inception of the budgetary or planning period so that we can be aware that to reach the break-even point or to save ourselves from loss how much sales should we make so at break-even point sales revenue equals to total cost now we know that in marginal cost in total cost is segregated into two parts variable cost and fixed cost so that we can say that total cost means variable cost plus fixed cost. So at break even point, sales revenue equals to variable cost plus fixed cost. Now we also know that from sales revenue, first we charge or write off the variable cost only in case of marginal costing analysis. And excess of sales revenue over the variable cost is known as contribution. Yes, from sales revenue, write off the variable cost. That is exactly equivalent to fixed cost. So we can ultimately say that at break even point contribution equals to fixed cost or at break even point our contribution margin is sufficient to recover fixed cost only no profit is made so again that is the same no profit no loss situation so we can say that at break even point sales revenue equals to total cost as well as contribution equals to fixed cost. Now let us study the simple break even chart in brief. First take a graph paper, draw horizontal axis, we can say it as X. On X or horizontal axis we take sales or output in number of units and on vertical axis we take sales revenue and cost that means amount. Because ultimately amounts are dependent on quantity. First draw a line parallel to x axis from point A to F that is our fixed cost line because we know that at zero level of production the fixed cost remains constant we have to incur the fixed cost even if for the time being we do not produce a single unit then draw the sales line which starts from zero or O OS is the sales line. It starts from zero because no unit is manufactured or sold, no revenue is generated. So at zero level of production, sales revenue is zero. So it always starts from zero and gradually increases. Now, from the origin of the fixed cost, draw total cost line. Because starting point of total cost is always the starting point of fixed cost. Total cost can never be zero. Variable cost can be zero. Fixed cost plus zero variable cost equals to total cost equivalent to fixed cost. That is the logic behind this. So always the total cost line starts from the origin of the fixed cost. At point A in our break even chart. Draw a total cost line. Yes. See the variable cost never increases at a rate at which the sales increases. Because variable cost per unit is always less than the selling price. So what happens exactly? Up to certain point, the sales line is below the total cost line. At a point, both intersect each other and now the sales line is above total cost line. What is it? Up to certain period, our sales revenue is less than the total cost. At this point, both are equal and then our sales revenue is more than our total cost. This At this point, our sales revenue is exactly equal to the total cost. That means this is the break-even point. 
if we want to know the quantity at break even point we just have to draw a dotted line to the x axis say point q that is q is the quantity of break even point in number of units and if we draw a dotted line parallel to x axis up to y axis say at point b this is break even sales revenue that means break even point in terms of amount what is this area this area shows loss because total course line is above the sales revenue line that means sales is less than total cost that is the loss making situation after break even point the sales line is now above the total cost line that means sales is greater than total cost so the gap between sales line and total cost line shows the profit because sales is less than, uh, greater than total cost so excess of sales over total cost is a profit in terms of break even analysis this angle is known as angle of incidence incidence means profit broader the angle of incidence higher the profit narrower the angle of incidence lower the profit so in general this is a break even chart this difference or gap between x axis and line af shows the amount of fixed cost this much amount of fixed cost uh, the gap between total cost and fixed cost is obviously variable cost which is zero at this point gradual fixed cost remains constant gradually with increase in sales the variable cost increases that means the gap between total cost and fixed cost increases that is variable this gap is variable cost so in nutshell this is the concept of break even point and presentation of simple break even chart thank you